All right, chapter seven, number seven. Uh, Shopper pushes a grocery cart 20 meters at constant speed on level ground against a 35 Newton frictional force. All right, so you got the cart, right? And friction is 35 Newtons against the motion. And here's the thing, it says constant speed. Constant speed means the net force has to be zero, which means you're also pushing with 35 newtons, right? So the shopper pushes the cart with 35 newtons across 20 meters, all right? That's that component. Now it tells us he pushes in a direction 25 degrees below the horizontal, right? Like that, that's 25 degrees. That means the total force the shopper is exerting is 35 newtons divided by the cosine of 25 degrees, right? Why is that? Because the 35 newtons is the um, force times the cosine of 25 degrees to get just the component along that direction. Okay, so part A, um, what is the work done on the cart by friction? Okay, work done by friction, part A. So what is the work done by friction? Well, the force of friction, right? I'll do FK, is negative 35 Newtons. Why is it negative? Because it opposes the motion, or it's in the opposite direction of the motion. So the work done by friction, all right, I'll put a K. Work done by friction is the force of friction times the distance we go through is minus 35 Newtons times 20 meters, right, uh, is minus 750 uh, Newton meters or joules, right? The work done by friction is minus 750 Newton meters or joules. Um, what is the work done on the cart by the shopper? That's part B, right? Work, nope, part B. What is the work done on the cart by gravitational force? By gravitational force, right? Work of gravity. Well, did the cart move up or down? No, it was on level ground. And so even though the force of gravity is mg, right? The distance we go is zero. So zero, no work done by gravity. Part C, uh, what is the work done by uh, on the cart by the shopper, right? So work by the shopper, all right. So the shopper exerts 35 newtons in the direction of motion, right, times 20 meters. So the shopper does 750 joules of work. Okay, so another way to look at this would have been, you know, the total force the shopper exerted times 20 meters times the, so the cosine of 20 degrees, or 25 degrees, pardon me. Um, but we already had the 35 newtons, the component in line with the motion. So we didn't really need to do that. Okay, um, part D, part D, find the force the shoppers exerts using energy considerations. Energy considerations. Okay, so if I use energy considerations, um, we start off with um, we start off with kinetic energy oh, ke initial right plus work done and this would be um, I mean ke small i right plus work of friction equals ke final all right and so um, plus oh, plus work whoop, plus work done by the shopper right so all the work done on it must um, satisfy the conservation of energy equation all right now it moves at constant speed what does that mean that means ke initial uh, and ke final are 
are um, both the same, right? So KE final equals KE initial. All right, so they drop out and we're left with work of friction plus the work of the shopper has to add up to zero. And the work of friction, work of friction we have is minus 750 joules plus, all right, the work of the shopper is the force applied by the shopper times 20 meters and all of that equals zero. And so we end up with the force from the shopper is 35 newtons using energy consideration. Okay, part E. What is the total work done on the cart? Zero. Total work done on the cart is zero. All right, and it's really right here. We can see it already when we did conservation of energy. There it is, right there. The total work done on the cart is zero. All right, that's it for problem seven.